Hello traders, uh, today is uh, the 9th of May 2010 and this video is about the Elio wave downtrend, okay? In 1920, a man that is named uh, Ralph Nielsen Elliot has discovered that uh, in fact, contrary to the general view that the market is chaotic, in fact the market was moving in persistent repetitive uh, uh, pattern uh, five waves okay the Eli Elliot has discovered that the market in fact either in a downtrend or in an uptrend continue to move in five waves okay so this pattern has repeated itself in every time frame okay so if you watch the first part of the video that is the alien wave uptrend you will learn that the earlier wave pattern is a fractal pattern that repeats itself at every level, okay? This is about the earlier wave downtrend, okay? In a downtrend, according to earlier wave, we have a, a five waves, okay? The first wave to the downside, this is a downtrend. The first wave will go down during the downtrend. The first wave is always a down wave okay it went down here and then the price will pull back up here there is a small rally within the downtrend a small rally within the downtrend at this particular point most of the oscillator like rsi or stochastic will be overbought okay and then we have the third wave which is the red one here and followed by the fourth wave here the green one here and then the fifth wave uh, this orange portion here and the downtrend cycle is finished after the downtrend is finished we will have what we call the correction pattern which is the a b c correction pattern okay this is going on all the time and uh, the professional are aware of this and you must know this as a trader okay so first wave the movement to the downside second wave a bit a small mano rally to the upside okay followed by a bigger movement to the downside because the major trend take over continuing the, the downtrend to the downside and right here people take a bit of profit again the price rally a bit and then people sold it again here and this is it end of this downtrend here followed by a b c pattern okay if you watch my my previous video regarding the, the market pattern, we know that the market pattern are trend, pause, trend, okay? Or trend, consolidation, trend. Or if I put it to you a different way, we will have high volatility period, and then we have low volatility period, which is the consolidation period, followed again by another high volatility period. Because after the low volatility period, okay, the market is ready again to create another high volatility uh, period okay so we have high volatility period followed by low volatility period again followed by high volatility period these are the market pattern and you must watch that video regarding the market pattern okay very very important so this is about the downtrend according to the Elliott wave in my previous video regarding the market uh, pattern we, we will have a before a downtrend we have maybe uptrend okay if you follow my course here we have uptrend and then we have pause which is quiet market okay trend pause trend okay there is an uptrend here and then the market pauses here which is a downtrend and then we have a new trend here first wave to the downside second wave third wave okay the fourth wave and the fifth wave followed by the correction pattern a okay b and c okay and the downtrend has finished after the fifth wave and the, the correction pattern has started right here a b c okay so after a lot of traders are recognized have difficulty to recognize the first wave 
So if you are in a downtrend, first we have an uptrend and then we have a consolidation period. We are expecting either the movement to continue to the upside or the trend to change. Okay, in this case, the uptrend has changed to the downside. Okay, there is no more continuation of this uptrend here. So after consolidation, the trend has definitely changed. And the first wave is the wave that will break out of the consolidation zone. It's the red one here. You will come out of the consolidation zone, okay, which is this zone here. You break it. It's the one here. Break it. That's the first wave to the downside. Okay. The second wave is the way that we retest this um, support zone here. You see this support zone here is the second way that we bring the price to retest it in order to confirm the, 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 the validity of this uh, line as a resistance level. Okay. I repeat to you before many, many times, the validation of support and resistance uh, are the key that move the market. Okay. These are the key of, for your trading, okay? Validation of support and resistance levels, okay? So after this consolidation zone, suddenly we have a momentum that was so strong that break the consolidation area here. Boom. Ah, everybody is aware that there is a breakout here, okay? But we do not want to enter sell right here. We want to try to retest this level here, which brings us to the level two, the wave two bring us to retest this level here and everybody knows that this level here has become a major resistance level that's why the movement is so strong here because the professional the smart money after the retesting of this zone here they are happy they are confident to enter the trade right here they did not sell here they wait for a pullback before they sell it and everybody join here because a lot of people with big money enter here. That's why this movement is so huge all the way here. And the professional will come out here because they don't want to risk the other bit. Okay. And then they take their profit here and the, the price pull back, pull up, pull up. Okay. There was a small rally here because people take profit here, creating this uh, fourth wave here. Now, the late coming people who did not know that anything was going on, now they realize now, they start coming in here to sell, okay? Because they are late coming, they want to achieve the same length to the downside in this uh, fifth wave here, but they couldn't. But as soon as the fifth wave, okay, has started, the professionals are busy selling into this uh, movement to the downside. They start, no, no, in this case, they are not selling, they are buying because it's a downtrend. As soon as the fifth wave has started here, they are busy buying straight away, creating this A, B, C correction pattern. And the trend may change after that, okay? So this is earlier wave in the downtrend, okay? So first we have this uptrend, okay? Then we have a consolidation, which is a normal market pattern, very important. And then we have the wave one that break out of the consolidation zone. So if you want to know when the trend has begun is after the breakout out of the consolidation zone. Okay, so we have volatility period, boom, 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 boom. And then we have a, a low volatility period, which is the price bouncing between two levels here. Okay, and then boom, there's an increase in the volatility suddenly. Okay, increase in the volatility. That's this wave one here breaking out of the quiet zone. Okay, you will see the Bollinger Band opening widely okay before in this particular zone you see the bullish japan will be very very squeezed during the consolidation period you will be very small size bullish japan and then suddenly it widen here it get bigger and the wave one is the one that break that create the increase of the volatility in the first wave okay boom the price come out of the consolidation zone the trap zone come out of the trap zone and then now everybody's waiting for the price to retest. Very, very important to retest it. If it does not retest it, you won't have the professional into it. They want it to retest it. And as soon as it retests it, boom, they sell it big time here. The price came here. And they took profit here. The price went up again. That's the fourth wave here. The fourth wave is the yellow one here. And then we have the fifth wave, which is the late coming. As soon as the late coming are selling to the dancer, creating the fifth wave, the professional now are busy buying, creating this a b c pattern so this is about the earlier wave downtrend i hope you learned something from this video until next time enjoy yourself very well 
and in every Elliott wave situation, the third wave is the longest wave, and the fifth wave is the last one, followed by the correction A, B, C pattern. With the Fibonacci uh, projection and extension, you will know how far the third wave will go. Till next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. Thank you.